Hi, in this short video, I'll be showing you how to check uh, your Facebook Pixel installation. Now, most of the time, uh, you'll use this sort of a tool. Uh, I would advise you not to use it because the Facebook Pixel helper is uh, doesn't really help when using the bits. So the way to check for the installation of the Pixel is to go to um, go to the Chrome browser, you, developer, in the JavaScript console which opens up uh, this particular screen over here. What you want to do is move over to sources and what you're going to find is that uh, is that uh, on your page where you've embedded your, your decision tree you're going to see two sets of, uh, of pixels firing and that's correct because one pixel is firing on the underlying page and the second pixel is firing on your embed page or where you've embedded it. So I'm going to go through this one here. So at the moment, I've got uh, one pixel firing for Facebook. And I'm going to show you um, the pixel firing on the second page. Right, so I'm going to go through and show, go there now, which is the elite decision tree. Go to this decision tree. And let me increase this so I can show you. So I've turned the decision tree off, but it should still fire. And what you're going to find is that uh, that's the first part. That's the that's all the all the tracking pixels firing on the underlying page, which is on Litsyn.com. Uh, this is where this is where the embed that's where the embed is, and the other bit is firing inside over here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and activate this decision tree, and that way we can see what's happening. Okay, so I've activated the decision tree now, and I'm going to refresh this. So you, now you'll be able to see uh, Facebook pixel firing. That's the decision tree is not relevant here. Hi, uh, Nikki, yada yada yada. Uh, so just wanted to show you what's happening. All right. So first you're going to have uh, the Facebook pixel firing on this page, which I'm going to go over here. That's the Facebook pixel firing right over there. You can see the pixel ID uh, is um, is uh, let me quickly find that. There you go. There's a pixel ID sitting under under ID, which is right underneath over here. So similarly, now that's on the lead hook side. That's in the underlying page. But if you open this section up here, what you're going to see is a whole lot of pixels firing again. And that pixel that you see firing over here is going to be the same one. So you see, um, that is the other one there. Right, so what you're going to find is, is so this thing is going to report duplicate pixels and all this sort of stuff, and that's incorrect. Uh, it's not, it's not uh, two pixels. One is firing on the underlying page, which is the embed, and then the initial one is firing over here. So use, uh, use uh, the JavaScript console, which is uh, view developer JavaScript console, to locate the pixel firing, and that is the correct way to do it. The incorrect way to do it is is to use the pixel helper because it doesn't really help. It starts reporting that you're having duplicate pixels, and that's not true at all. And the way to confirm that is to go over here and see how many pixels do you see firing inside Facebook. And I can see there's only one. And over here, I can also see only one. Right. So if you have a look, the pixel number, the ID, is uh, 886, and it's uh, this one here is also uh, this one here is good too because I've got. I've got I've got two containers firing inside this, so that's why you're going to see two here. But in your case, you should see only see one, and that's how you confirm that, ensuring that the pixel ID that you see uh, on the top section here for Facebook, uh, which is over here, should match with the one at the bottom here. Right, I hope that kind of gives you a good idea as to how to check for your pixels firing. Thank you, and bye for now.